Hi everybody, it's Andrea. Today I wanted to show you how we go about making an actual hoof oil or a hoof dressing with essential oils. Um, I have uh, shared a bunch of recipes on how to make different hoof conditioners, whether it's just for maintaining uh, condition and growth, which is what I'm gonna do today, as well as a couple other recipes that would be more geared toward um, a hoof that has a bruise or something where you're working to, to fix something. So the one that I'm making today, I'm actually gonna make for my horse just to help promote uh, healthy growth and it's fall when I'm recording this video so with the dew in the morning and then it warming up through the day that causes the hooves to dry out a little bit so I just want to give him a little bit of extra support while we go through the season. So I actually got this um, empty container at our local tack shop so if you have a tack store near you you might be able to find something like this there. It comes with a brush and everything and it's just empty. Um, or you, I'm sure you can find something like this online too. But this is what I use when I make my, my hoof dressings. And then I'm going to use eight ounces of fractionated coconut oil. And then I'm for this recipe, I'm going to use rosemary, tea tree, and lavender. Um, this is a really good combination to, it has um, properties of antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral properties with the tea tree. And then the rosemary and lavender will really help promote that healthy hoof and um, good growth. So I think this is a, a good combination. I actually got this recipe from Dr. Janet Work, who is a, a veterinarian that shares lots of education on using oils with our animals, if you've never heard of her. So look her up. But this is one of her recipes and I really like this one. So that's how I'm going to do it. Um, but the recipe itself is, <laughs> for the coconut oil, we have eight ounces of coconut oil. And then we're gonna do 10 drops of the rosemary, 20 drops of the tea tree, and 20 drops of the lavender. And we're gonna combine all that and just put it in this container. And I'll take this to the farm and I'll keep it in my tap closet. So then we have the brush and everything. We're gonna supply it like you would a normal hoof dressing right along the coronet band and then onto the hoof itself to help promote that health and growth. So if you have any questions about making your own dressings or if you're looking for a certain recipe to to combat something specific, let me know and I'm happy to share different recipes with you. But this is the one that I'm gonna to make today just to, as I said, help promote health, healthy hooves and um, the good growth and just good condition of the hoof itself. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, like I said, never hesitate to ask. If you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and hope you all enjoy your rest of your day. Thanks for watching.